Regional District is the regional government for the 13 municipalities and three electoral areas that are located on the southern tip of Vancouver Island. The urban centre of the CRD is the City of Victoria, and the regional district also includes many of the Gulf Islands, a number of rural municipalities, and a vast tract of wilderness that lies along the southwestern coast of Vancouver Island. At the CRD, we are dedicated in our mission to advance the region towards sustainability. Our initiatives range from large-scale land acquisitions to public education in many fields. The CRD educational programs offer valuable information and are given in a positive way. Children are very wise and they clearly understand the issues. They understand it makes sense to take care of our environment. The CRD has created two water conservation education programs for elementary and high school students in the region. Using local examples and take-home activities, these resources teach the importance of water conservation and the value of our watersheds. The regional watershed was purchased 100 years ago. This is a land area which supplies pristine water to the Souk Reservoir and through a pipe infrastructure to the water taps in our homes and businesses. In 2007 and again in 2010, the CRD purchased a total of 9,628 hectares of land in the Leach Watershed to secure and protect our future source of drinking water. This purchase will help meet the demands of the region's growing population. The CRD now owns and protects more than 20,000 hectares, or 94%, of our water supply lands. It is our job to assure that the region's drinking water is pure and that the watershed lands are managed and protected. Well, Victoria, of course, is known as the City of Gardens, and uh, we do uh, boast some of the most beautiful gardens you'll find anywhere in the country. But we also have got into a mindset here over the years where a brown lawn is uh, a bit of a status symbol because uh, when we were in a situation a few years ago where we were seeing a depletion of our, of our watershed and of our reservoir, uh, people here uh, took to the notion of water restrictions, and there was some grumbling at first, and, and people were a little reluctant to see uh, that they were only allowed to uh, water within certain hours and on certain days. But people have taken to it and really understand that we have to be doing that sort of thing now to make sure that there is enough water for everybody moving forward. CRD's Stormwater, Harbors and Watersheds program works to protect watercourses and nearshore marine environments. In 1997, we began a watershed management strategy to identify the watersheds that drain into these marine areas. We are now developing regulations and guidelines to protect those watersheds. We also coordinate and support community watershed restoration programs such as the Bowker Creek Initiative. The CRD supports public education and provides award-winning web mapping and data delivery services. Our extensive map layers and data allow our communities to be more informed about the diverse ecological aspects of the region. The CRD now has 13,000 hectares or 50 square miles of protected natural areas within 33 regional parks and trails. In addition to contributing to the overall quality of life enjoyed by Capital Regional District residents and creating outstanding recreation experiences, these parklands protect ecosystems, provide habitat for plants and animals, and support the natural cleansing of water and air. Regional parks and trails also contribute to the economy and tourism. Through partnerships and a modest annual household assessment fund, CRD has acquired 3,000 hectares of prime natural areas in the last decade. I believe the CRD is an environmental leader in protecting green spaces in the community uh, because of the attitude and approach that is taken in partnership and in planning and being proactive in acquiring those green spaces while they're still it's still possible to do so and uh, building a park system based on nature conservation and public uh, involvement. Sustainable growth is one of the CRD's six strategic goals. 
the Regional Sustainability Strategy is a collaborative agreement between the CRD's municipalities and electoral areas and focuses on nine policy areas that reflect a growing focus on integrated regional strategies as a cornerstone of sustainability. The Regional Sustainability Strategy aims to create better linkages between CRD initiatives through refocus, re-emphasis and recommitment to the principles behind the Regional Growth Strategy. The current Regional Growth Strategy will transition into a broad and effective tool bringing together the issues of regional growth, transportation, sustainable development, climate change and green space protection. The CRD runs a number of programs highlighting sustainable practices. For liquid waste, the CRD operates a trunk sewer system and eight sewage treatment plants. Wastewater treatments currently range from preliminary at the Clover Point and Macaulay Point plants to secondary treatment at five smaller plants. Secondary treatment is targeted to be in place for the core area of the CRD by 2016. The recently chosen McLaughlin Point system, with a central plant in Esquimalt, will treat wastewater for all core area municipalities. Thanks to resource recovery opportunities, this system will also provide heat and energy for reuse and achieve carbon offsets. The CRD Source Control Program aims to reduce the amount of contaminants that industry, business, institutions and households discharge into the sanitary sewer system. We support a team of scientists and technicians who monitor and assess the impact of discharges on the marine environment. The impact is managed through enforcement and education. First Nations have lived in their home territories for often thousands of years. And over that time, they've developed the knowledge and the wisdom to use the resources that they rely on without destroying them. And I think the lesson that, they've, that they can teach all of us is that we need to be a part of nature. We need to consider ourselves within nature and not above it or outside of it. This is a lesson we all need to learn to live sustainably. The CRD is strongly committed to diversion and recycling programs for solid waste reduction. More than 90% of single-family homes in the capital region recycle on a regular basis. The CRD has offered curbside recycling since 1989. This program diverts more than 19,000 tons of potential garbage from the landfill each year. Kitchen scraps are also being considered for diversion from the landfill Composting of kitchen scraps would reduce landfill waste by 30%. Uh, I know in our household I have uh, got everybody thinking about reducing the amount of garbage that we generate every couple of weeks by getting those jars and those cans and the newspapers and the cardboard and all those, uh, those plastic containers, those big clamshell containers that all the fruits that you buy these days come in. Get that in the blue box and get it out of the landfill and the CRD really has uh, had a successful run of doing that. For waste that can't be recycled at the curbside, the award-winning Heartland Landfill has a number of initiatives in place. Gas created by the landfill is collected through underground pipes. This gas, which is primarily methane, is directed towards an on-site power plant, generating enough electricity for 1,600 homes. By 2038, person trips per day in the area is estimated to increase by 42%. The CRD is striving to integrate land use and transportation policies. The ENN Rail Trail, the Regional Cycling Network, the Corridor Management Plan and partnerships with BC Transit all aim to provide the transportation solutions to create a livable and vibrant community. The recently completed CRD Pedestrian and Cycling Master Plan has identified the 900-kilometer primary intercommunity cycling network of bike routes, which will provide seamless routes throughout the region and make cycling a more attractive means of transportation. 
The Transportation Demand Management Strategy is an initiative designed to encourage more sustainable travel options and behaviors. We want to provide practical alternatives to driving alone and manage transportation systems and investments. We bought the solar power car because we wanted to help stop polluting the air. It also helps parents because they don't have to drive their kids to school as often. We have to prevent pollution because it causes global warming. The CRD's Climate Action Program was established in 2009 to serve local governments and acts as a resource, hub and facilitator on climate change issues in the capital region. The Climate Action Program aims to reduce energy and emissions today and plan for climate impacts of tomorrow. Local governments, including the CRD, are striving for carbon neutrality by 2012. The Climate Action Program will also help municipalities to reach the province's goal of a 30% reduction in greenhouse gas levels by 2020. The CRD is establishing the framework for sustainability, culturally, economically, environmentally and socially. We are committed to a collaborative, transparent dialogue with residents, business owners and First Nations to ensure we have a livable, vibrant region. You can join the CRD in working towards sustainability. Visit our website and learn how to help protect our region through environmental stewardship programs, recycling and waste reduction, or by volunteering in one of the region's beautiful parks. The CRD is making a difference together.